Michael Kenneth Williams, good to meet you, sir. Thank you, same here. Um, it's uh, particularly the timing is great that you're in town because I've seen the first few episodes of the season. Chucky is big time in this. Yeah, he's going through it. <laughs> oh shoot! Uh, the uh, um, uh, that did you did you realize going in? Because I mean, Chucky, a major character, obviously in the first season, but but we didn't really get to know him that well. It's kind of enigmatic. He's still enigmatic. I don't want to give too much away here about the second season, but th there's a lot of stuff going on with this guy. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, did you, was it a surprise when you got these scripts for the first few episodes of the second season? You know, I'm always, I'm always surprised. You know what I mean? I'm still, I still can't believe I'm here, actually. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Terry and Tim, Terry Winter and Tim yeah. Van Patten, they, they had informed me early on last year that season two, they were going to expand on Charlie. Just, yeah. just, Hold on. <laughs> but you didn't know what? I didn't know what. Yeah. You know, but I, I knew it was going to be good coming from those, those two. Oh, I mean, they're brilliant. They're yeah. absolutely brilliant. And the other thing, and I've interviewed Terry and, and uh, well, everybody except you, basically the one guy on the show I haven't talked to. Uh, but it's such a fascinating period of time to be dealing with. And, and of all the things going on, I mean, obviously prohibition, but, but radio and movies culturally, and then uh, you know, the women's movement and all this stuff, one thing that we didn't get a lot into was the African-American experience. I mean, we had Chalky, who was, um, for, uh, for people who haven't seen the show, and, and by all means, you better. Um, he, uh, he's, the, he's basically manufactures, well, he, he makes the booze. Yes. Uh, supplies Ooh, all these guys. <laughs> And, and uh, has a really interesting relationship with Nucky, uh, which is the Steve Buscemi character. And in fact, if I can give anything away about the second season, you realize you get a little more understanding of that relationship. And I think you realize how much Nucky and Chalky kind of have in common. He's a lot like him. As I talk about uh, Chalky as a character. You know, um, Chalky White, he, he's a businessman. He keeps his... Uh his, his affairs as clean as possible. He keeps his mess to shoe level. And um, Nucky appreciates that. You know, he's one of the few people that he can go to. Chalky's one of the few people that Nucky can go to and don't have to deal with the BS. Yeah. It's on the table. Yeah. It's black and white. It's see you next shipment. Yeah. You know, and yeah. um, he appreciates that. And aside from that, you know, you gotta remember, Nucky's a politician. Yeah. And the... The, the, the black community was responsible for something like 40% of the voting population. Yeah. So, you know, Chalky being the unofficial mayor of Chicken Bone Beach, it, it was it was in Nucky's best interest to keep Chalky happy. Yeah. You know, and the fact that he, he wasn't shysty, it made it all the more easier. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, get, I get, this, get the sense. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Ch Chucky does not trust easily. But once he does, I mean, the loyalty, uh, in the face of a lot of pressures, uh, the loyalty is there. I mean, it's, it's not just, it, I mean, it's a business relationship and it's obviously mutually beneficial, but Chalky's a, a straight up guy. He, a Chalky's very straight up and, and that's his moral code and I did mention that was the one, one of the main things that he would share with uh, Omar mm. is his code and he doesn't, he doesn't break that for anybody. Like yeah. You see it in season one where Maya Lansky tried to, you know, pull some, some little scam with the $10,000 and Chalky said, tell, tell Nucky Take a lot more than that to get me to screw him over, you know. So uh, we see that he where, where he stands and how he how he operates, and uh, you know, Nucky definitely appreciates that, especially yeah. now in season two where everyone is gunning for him and people who he yeah. loved and thought you know was in his corner is trying to cut his throat. Yeah, yeah, and things kind of explode for both of them in that first episode. Yeah, it definitely does explode, but you know, but the difference is. Chalky's used to this. Chalky's like welcome to my world. This is new for Nucky, the the throw of the, the throw of power, you yeah. know, the undercut. You know, this is very new for Nucky. When he he you know he gets his feet swept out from under him, when he, when he looks over, he's like Chalky. He's like, hey, thought you'd never get here, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so it's like, um, so, and in that, their relationship goes to a whole other level. Yeah, yeah, a whole other level. Yeah. Now again, interesting, interesting period of time, and again, very interesting time of transition in so many respects. But, but again, particularly for for the black community, um, uh, you know, what was going on socially there, and culturally and politically there, um, you know, still, I mean, uh, just rife with with prejudice and racism and and, um, and segregation, complete segregation. It's a whole separate society, and yet, you know, here's here's Chalky, who's who's become a success. You know, in his own world, 
um, uh, you know, in spite of those obstacles, or maybe because of them. I don't know. We talked about that a bit. I mean, what? I think it's a combination of both. I think Chalky's rise to success is a combination of you know, in in spite of his 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 history, his past, and because of it, you know, well, this is a man that saw his father hung, mm -hmm. and you know that that impacted him greatly. That 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 embedded a pain in him that that drove him. It's, it's, a, it's a determination it, it instilled in him that he will never end up at the end of a rope like his father did. Mm -hmm. You know, and then there's the, um, the whole thing of, of loyalty to his community. You're going to hear the word justice come out of Chucky's mouth mm -hmm. a lot this season. And he uses his relationship and his power with Nucky as leverage to make sure that his community is is well cared for because he cares he's not you know he's not just so oh, I got mine screw y'all mm. it matters to him and you know his authority in the community is hugely questioned in this season mm. and he has to like really make it known that I care yeah well and again I don't want to give away the scene but there is a brilliant scene in the second episode <laughs> where that 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 stature in the community suddenly just you know becomes so clear and it's it's that whole scene is amazing. There's so much going on. And I don't want to give it away because people have to see it. But the, the book, I mean, just little touches like that. And that's what makes what makes this show so brilliant. And, I mean, how great for you that you've been involved in these incredible, incredible shows. I've had an awesome run thus far. I mean, the platform that HBO has set up for me to perform on, coming from The Wire, going to Boardwalk Empire, it doesn't, for someone like me, it doesn't get much better. Like, television doesn't get much better than that, man. <laughs> These are two of the best shows ever made. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's, it's I, I mean, what a, what a glorious, glorious career. Um, and, and, you know, you're right. HBO has made, it's, it's, it's given people the freedom to use, the, to, to, to make, you can't make this kind of stuff anywhere else. You can't do it as a movie. No. You can't do it on network television. No. You can only do it on cable, yeah. and, and HBO is so supportive. And, and you know, here, the similarities, you know, just thinking about it now, other than the fact that you're in both, the similarities between The Wire and Boardwalk Empire are kind of interesting, too. Yeah, you know, I, I equate that to uh, the minds of David Simon and Terry Winter. They set the bar very high, you mm -hmm. know, as to how you flush out your characters, you know, the type of stories you choose to tell, you know, how well you write them. You know, that's, that's, it's, it's very high, you know. Mm -hmm. Did you coming off the wire think that you would ever have an experience to, 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 uh, to ever equal that? Absolutely not. I mean, coming off the wire, I was like, okay, well, I, I got my thriller. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's, it's downhill from here, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I was in, um, I was in Cape Town, uh, doing a show for NBC. I was out there with, uh, Jesse Martin from Law & Order, yeah. uh, James Preaboy from um, England and uh, Nev Campbell, yeah. and you know the money was great. I, I man, did we love each other down there? We had so much fun amongst pure ourselves. physical dude. That I dude, a rock star, times. man. I oh, love that him, guy, man. Yeah. And Nev was like, I call her my big little sister yeah. because she thought she's younger than me. She's like, you know, Michael, stop <laughs> that, don't do it, Michael. <laughs> and I was like, yes, Nev, you know, but uh, um, you know, I was miserable down there creatively. Yeah. Uh, I felt handcuffed. Yeah. Uh, you know, there was nothing to do. Um, my character, they didn't know what to do. Was, they were, you know, the, the storylines were being flushed out. It was a kind of go, uh, see as we go kind of process. And, yeah. uh, you know, I just spent a lot of time standing around on set. And I remember asking to be let out of the show. You yeah. know, not in, even whether it came back or not, I didn't want to return. Little Cape Town was beautiful. My cast members were great. I said creatively, I said, I didn't, this is not what, I didn't come into the game collecting the check, yeah. and if I deviate from that now, I lose. Yeah. I gotta stay true to what burns the fuel inside me. I gotta, I gotta feel this, gotta pull me. Yeah. And um, I asked to be let out, and then a week later, I got a call, I was like, for a boardwalk, I said, I said, because I, you know, you see a little prayer, like, you know, God, you know, if it's meant to be, send me a sign, and next thing I know, I got a call I'm like, really, dude? <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, and really, after Wire, anything is going to be a disappointment, except for this. And then, okay, so now, what was your reaction? Okay, Boardwalk Empire, but that was a great role. Oh, and by the way, Martin Scorsese is directing you as a pilot. Well, you know, his name came attached immediately. They were, you know, when I got the size of, like, you know, Martin Scorsese is producing this and directing the pilot. So I was like, you know, um, 
well, remind you again, once again, I'm in Africa. So the only way to get on, I had to get on the audition where I had to put myself on tape. So, um, you know, I like a week went by because I just did not believe that with all these fine actors in America, they were going to cast me from a tape across the world. So I, I kind of, I, I, I shrugged it off. And then uh, my agent called me, he's like, you know, Mike, okay, if you don't at least put yourself on tape, you lose the, the opportunity to at least go up for it. So um, Nev, a good friend of mine who's down and flew down with me, we got in the room and um, she read the lines against me. My friend, we ran the camera and we sent it, uh, you sent it .com. Yeah. And they booked me from that tape. Wow. Well, not just the tape. I mean, they were kind of familiar with the, your work. Yeah, you know, Marty was familiar with me a little bit, but um, I would have to say that Terry Winter, he really was yeah. waving the MKW banner. I mean, excuse me, uh, Tim Van Patten. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, great. Well, listen, uh, you know, best of luck with this. I, I'm only three episodes in, and uh, they sent me six, and, and I'm going to go home and watch the rest right now. Cause, uh, the heck what they say, man. You guys got the best job. <laughs> I know. I totally. missed one yesterday. He saw six episodes. I'm like, can I, can I get at least two? <laughs> you know? Well, I'm three in, and it was only a matter because I, I didn't have the time that uh, I haven't watched the other three. But it's uh, as good as it was the first season, it's better this season. Thank you. And we get to see a lot more Chalky, and there's nothing wrong with that. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, good to meet you, man. Thank you, man. Okay.